Hi folks, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on this Ferro Crypto which I recently purchased from AliExpress. It was £8.40 including uh, delivery to the United Kingdom and randomly um, the Ferros which I purchased at the same time took three weeks longer to come through which is a little bit strange but anyway they're both here now so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. So um, we'll take a look at the tool and uh, take a look at the Ferros themselves. I'll talk about what a is and what it offers you and um, basically show you how to use them. So the tool itself is quite nice. It's one of these uh, ratchet type uh, ratchet type tools. I do have quite a few of these. <clears throat> I use this one for my sort of small Molex connectors. Um, you know, they're nice, nice quality tools and, and fairly robust. Um, and as you can see here, uh, the die at the top is it's a four pieces that come into a, a, a square shape, uh, nice and smooth action. And as you can hear, it ratchets down. Uh, on the ferrule once it's been placed inside. Um, the ferrules themselves uh, got these ones. These were three pounds ten from AliExpress. Uh, they come in four sizes. Um, I think they're about 0 0.8, 1 1.2, 1 1.6, and I think two mil or something like that. Um, but the fairly small sizes, which are, are ideal for for myself uh, and probably you as a hobbyist, uh, you're not going to need the big heavy duty ones. They're more for uh, industrial applications. Uh, but essentially, what a ferrule is, is is basically a little metal tube with a small piece of plastic on the end to insulate um, uh, insulate the conductor, I should say. Um, more commonly used for these types of things, terminal blocks. This is a kind of industrial one, but um, I just did the first one that came to hand to, to sort of demonstrate. But um, if you're obviously, I've set this up here. But if you're a little bit careless, I'm not saying you are, but sometimes I am, and you, you're you're putting sort of, uh, wires into a terminal block, you could often have a little uh, stray conductor there. And if you're putting a couple of them in, obviously, it doesn't take a rocket science to work out you could have little shots and there that which could cause you problems or even be dangerous depending on uh, the currents etc um but what a ferrule does is basically it stops that from occurring um you take your your conductor your piece of wire uh you place the fer uh, the ferrule onto the end um and what that does is it basically um encapsulates if you want to use that as a word but basically keeps all the the conductors inside that metal tube and offers a little bit of insulation just to cover the you know the actual pvc or whatever that's actually on the the conductors we then take our tool like so uh place it into the crimp tool ratchet it down and it hopefully that will focus there you can see it puts it in a nice square um square tube and it also sort of, I don't know what we call this serrations but it basically presses in um into that actual conductor to keep it in there and keep it solid good solid connection and then once that's in there uh, sorry once the ferrule's on we then put it into a, a terminal block and tighten down as we as we usually would like so and that gives us a really nice, really professional looking uh, termination on the end. You know, that is not going to come off there. It really is a, a nice job. So we'll just do that again one more time just to show you. I've already set up my uh, uh, FACOM uh, wire strippers to the right length. There we go. There's a bare conductor. Just give it a little twist as you normally would. This is slightly different. Uh, slightly different uh, wire so I might need a slightly bigger uh, terminal this time or ferrule I should say no no that will do the trick so we take it as already shown place it into the, the tool crimp it down and there's that nice terminated piece of uh, wire place it in Tighten it up, and you know, nice solid job. I hope none of you have got a, a, a C, D, C, <laughs> OCD, because uh, clearly the blue would be better on the blue. <laughs> but um, yeah, it only comes in two colours, and that's just where the first ones I picked out. But yeah, nice solid, um, you know, connection there, and it obviously looks professional, and it's going to provide that additional insulation and 
lessen the risk of you you having a shot. Of course, you know, you could just um, twist and tin it up with a bit of solder. I'd just pay a bit more attention, but I think it does look a bit more professional. Um, you know, if you if you do certainly if you're doing uh, retail work, if you're building something for retail, if somebody was to open up and see that, they'd see that that's a quality job. Somebody's paid a little bit of attention to detail to the to the work. Anyway, folks, hope you found it interesting or useful. As always, if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, and all the best.